Hi, I'm Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the nonprofit Break the Cycle website. The fourth of eight self-improvement lessons in that website focuses on improving relationships. I hope you would agree that a fundamental requisite for satisfying relationships with anybody is honesty. What we know is that all people, perhaps including you at times, tell lies. We distort the truth, we shade the truth, we omit the truth, we tell false truth. If you want to diminish dishonesty in your relationships <clears throat> and improve the honesty inside yourself and between you and others and even with others from others with you. <clears throat> Here are some ideas. First, what causes dishonesty? Notice your own answer to that. My answer may be a little different than yours because I've studied internal family systems therapy for 19 years. I think there are two things fundamentally that cause most people, if not all, to distort or omit the truth with themselves or with other people. The first you may not know about unless you study lesson one in my website. Lesson one is about personality subcells. Uh, the idea fundamentally is everybody, all normal people, underline normal, have personalities that are made up of subcells who are like players on a sports team. Each has a talent, each has a role to play, and there is a leader. People who lie frequently or in critical situations are controlled often by an inner subself who can be called the scared child. This is a part of you who's been trained to perceive and believe, often from earliest childhood, if I tell the truth, I'm going to get hurt in lots of different ways. Um, there are two different ways of getting hurt. One is internal, you can hurt yourself, because if you lie, you probably have an inner critic who ceaselessly points out your flaws and your weaknesses like, you are such a failure, you have to lie, you can't even tell the truth. The second sub-self that many of us have is a perfectionist. You always have to tell the truth, you cannot ever lie or you're bad. You have a, sh a shamed little child who says, oh, if I lie, I'm so bad, I'm so terrible. You have a guilty child who says, oh, there, I've broken the rule, I know I'm supposed to tell the truth and I didn't. You've got this collection of subselves that together cause you to lie and then beat you up for it. They cause you to lie because, in their opinion, telling the truth will bring you pain. You can have internal pain or you may experience external pain. Where does that come from? Can you think of the last time you told the truth to somebody in a questionable situation and had them shame you, blame you, reject you, abandon you, name call, argue, bring up the past, some behavior from somebody else that you value that caused you pain, some kind of emotional discomfort, shame, guilt, fear, anxiety, frustration, hurt, anger, those don't feel good. That is what inner pain is, some combination of those things. So, we all, I include myself, at times distort or omit the truth or intentionally tell lies because to tell the truth, in our opinion, the opinion of our subselves, would bring us too much pain. Do you agree? Does that make sense? Why kids and adults don't tell the truth. If that's true, <clears throat> what can you do about it? There are two scenarios. One is, if you feel you distort or omit the truth too often, 
here are two things you can do to become more honest serenely without guilt without anxiety without fear the very first thing you can do is free your marvelous wise true self if you don't know what that is see lesson one in my website and the related videos on YouTube if you free your true self you can work with the other sub cells that I mentioned your scared little child or children plural your shame child your guilty child your perfectionist your inner critic your doubter your pessimist all of those sub cells contribute to the feeling like it's not safe to tell the truth either now or in general free your true self build these other sub cells knowledge of and trust in your true self and you will find fear of telling the truth fear of pain will go down that's one scenario of two notice your reaction to that if you're skeptical if you say well I get around to it sometime which is your procrastinator at work uh, you're probably controlled as most people are by a well-meaning narrow vision false self not your true self if you are controlled by a false self you're likely to have to hit bottom meaning your life is going to have to be too painful too often and you're going to wake up one morning saying I'm not going to live like this anymore that's the best time it's the most likely time that you will free your true self and live a far better more productive life so one point I want to offer you here is it is possible on a practical level for you to learn to tell fewer lies to shade the truth less to be respectfully honest with other people in your life you can learn to do that the second thing you need to do besides freeing yourself in order to be more honest is to learn the communication skills in lesson two in my website the benefit of that is the first skill is awareness the second skill is clear thinking the other skills include learning how to assert your needs after you become aware of them and how to problem solve how to get your needs met and help other people do the same if you work on those skills your need to deceive people or deceive yourself for that matter which is called denial or repression will go down the skills in lesson two and freeing yourself in lesson one can make significant changes in helping you become more honest with the people you want to tell the truth to the second of two problems that you may experience is from time to time you will deal with people who are dishonest with you what can you do about that you have some limited options the first option is be aware this person seems like they're not telling the truth or I doubt this or I don't have a good feeling about what she or he is telling me or that's an outright lie this is true of kids and adults so be aware identify people that you distrust by the way if you are a grown wounded child if you carry wounds from your early childhood and you haven't reduced them one of six specific very common wounds we have is distrust we over trust people that we shouldn't trust or we distrust people who merit our full trust so if you experience people that you don't trust be aware that may be an accurate perception or it may be evidence that you're controlled by a false self and you have the wound of excessive distrust two options if you work to free your true self and reduce your inner wounds that will take care of the first of those if you're confronted with someone who is 
dishonest too often, what can you do? In lesson four, there's an article that offers you many options for dealing with a psychologically wounded person. By definition, if someone lies to you and may earn the title of pathological liar, which is an unkind misdiagnosis, pathological liars are scared to death of telling the truth. They're scared and they're wounded. They're not bad people. What they do causes harm. But have an attitude of compassion. Recognize people who are psychologically wounded. Begin to form an, uh, an empathy for them. That doesn't mean you have to put up with their harmful behavior. Learn to assert your boundaries. That's lesson two. Learn to problem solve. Learn to confront, which is the subject of an upcoming video, how to confront effectively. And if someone lies to you, <clears throat> be aware of uh, how to use iMessages. That's a skill you'll learn in lesson two. Mm -hmm. An iMessage says, I feel you're not telling the truth, which is far different than saying, you're a liar. When I feel, when I have trouble trusting that you're telling me the truth. I lose respect for you, I get distrustful of you, it's frustrating for me, and I feel like distancing from you. That's one of many ways you can deal with someone that doesn't tell you the truth. You can improve your own honesty, you can widen your options for deep people who need to lie to you. The answers to both of these improvements lie in lessons one, two, and four in the Break the Cycle website and the related YouTube videos. I hope you find this intriguing and provocative and you study it more and try out these options and see what happens. Thanks for your time here.